Hello ladies and gentlemen, Jim here. This could very well be the big story of the day or maybe even the week. Who knows? But anyway, Republicans are reportedly planning to kick off the month of February by releasing the infamous FISA memo alleging egregious abuses of FISA surveillance powers by the FBI. This has been reported by Reuters who uh, cited a Trump administration official who said on Wednesday that the memo is likely to be released on Thursday, and that's today. Now, the four-page memo has circulated among the House and has been seen by the President and his Chief of Staff, John Kelly. Now, Trump has until Friday to decide whether the memo should remain classified. Now, the news comes after the FBI yesterday issued a rare public statement condemning the memo as factually inaccurate, saying it had grave concerns about its release, which is said could be detrimental to national security. Why do I doubt that? Even as Dem even Democrats, excuse me, who initially said the memo was intended to challenge the Mueller probe are now admitting that it, its contents could be damning and raise questions about the Bureau's decision to wiretap Trump campaign aide Carter Page, evidence that was used to help justify the launch of the Trump investigation. Adam Schiff, the top Dem on the House Intel Committee, reportedly said yesterday that it could lead to the firings of Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein and Special Counsel Robert Mueller. So, evidently, at some point today, and maybe by the time you... you hear this or see this, it may have already been uh, done. Uh, the FBI FISA memo is reportedly going to be released. And what will come of this? Will anything come of this? Will this turn out to be just, what is the old phrase, uh, a nothing burger? What will the ripples of this be? Will it be shockwaves? I'm, I, you can color me curious, folks. I can't wait to find out. Um, but you know what? I am uh, I am holding my breath. I, I just don't... I don't know. I guess I, I had nothing more to say on this other than the fact we will have to see what happens. Uh, I do very much doubt that it's detrimental to national security. I think that there are things going on every day in this country that are so much more detrimental to national security than the release of this thing. But what do I know? I mean, honestly, I'm just some guy that makes videos on YouTube. Wanted to share this with you folks. I'd ask you please to subscribe to my channel. If you haven't done so already, please give this video a thumbs up. Please share it if you feel so led to. There's a few links down below I'd ask you to check out if you felt like you wanted to. If you had the time, I'd greatly appreciate it. One is to my latest fiction book, Fortress, a Wayfarer story. That is fiction that the deep state does not want you to read, I'm sure. There's a link to a free read of chapter one also down there. Go read that for free. There's a link to uh, some music of mine and also if you want to buy me a cup of coffee or something. There's a link to a PayPal page down there as well. I value you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and I want to remind you, do not be given over to the spirit of fear, but instead of the power of love and of a sound mind that comes through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. God bless you.